Okay, hi there everyone, um, Irene here and uh, recently I've been getting deeper into uh, board games. I've always been into board games from when I was younger but it was only until a friend uh, brought some board games over a few like two months ago uh, that I got introduced uh, back into board games especially this board in particular it's called mancala it's a mancala board sometimes it's called omweso it depends uh, where you're coming from but it was played from back in the day like a hundred years ago even even from uganda where i'm from we used to read about it in history books and you'd find that people playing it as king's gods or as entertainment was a source of entertainment so lay a board quite like this and they would have uh, like they would use maybe pebbles or sometimes coffee beans or they would have uh, peas any stones or anything that serves uh, quite like these marbles that you see over here and so this is the setup of the game uh, this is how it is it's got different trays all over and as you can see over here you have multiple facets and each uh, you place four four stones or four marbles and then the tray on the side on each side belongs to the winner I mean to the each per part of the Like the player of the game. So as you can see over here, it is a two-player game uh, So you two players that play this game usually and the premise of it is you lay the table down and you scoop out four uh, of any pocket that you see over here for example i can pick this up this on the end and then i move the whole point is as you can see i have four pebbles in my palm and each of those slots has four of them and the whole goal is to just place one to drop one pebble in each of the spots as you can see here so until i'm done with them the four that i had in my palm and uh, the next thing that you do we are moving clockwise is now pick up all the pebbles from where you place the last pebble and you still keep it with moving clockwise and moving around and so i will just continue dropping as i did initially where one and then since i'm on the side uh, that is my tray so the whole premise of the game is to have the most pebbles in your tray as compared to your opponent so the opponent over here would have their pebbles that they would place there as the game progresses and me as i move clockwise i'll be able to place mine there so i place mine as you can see over here and that is my first counter then i keep moving keep moving clockwise and as i told you before you scoop out from where you last placed the last pebble that was in your hand and you keep it empty so you move from the next you keep dropping one by one and you skip the opponent's pebble because you don't want to give them anything and just continue now as you can see here my turn will have stopped because that place where I placed the last pebble, they want any other pebbles there. So I cannot pick from there. So that means my turn is done. So I'll have to now pass the game over to my opponent. So I'll, in a way, since this is just my explanation, I'll play both sides where I will be, my left hand will be the opponent. Just give me a second to go around. <laughs> I don't kind of feel like editing this, so I'll just work with it, work with me. So as you can see here, I'm just moving around. So imagine that is the other player. I'll scoop from anywhere and then just continue moving clockwise, place one one skip the other opponent's one because that is not mine uh, as this player two and as you can see it's also happened to be i have placed my last pebble in a spot where there weren't any others so it's empty so i cannot scoop out because you only scoop from where you last placed the pebbles so now it is player one's turn again so you're just going to continue you're going to keep it going with a clockwise movements and you can pick up from any of the slots that you would have uh, that are interesting you can be strategic and maybe from here i'm trying to pick from the most uh the docket with the most but that doesn't mean that you will 
like be successful but anyway just keep it moving one 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 an inch one an inch until i place the last one then i scoop again as long as there's multiple pebbles you can just keep going in your turn remember skip the opponent and then just keep it going keep placing one 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 and because that is the last one it is player two's turn so i have to pass their turn along and just give me <laughs> um you just continue that that is pretty much the premise of this game it's quite fun it's quite it's one of those games that you can play when you're having drinks with friends you don't need to think too much just have some chats just keep it playing and yeah so maybe i'll review and teach you some games that i pick up along the way i am quite gathering them like infinity stones but yes thank you so much for watching please leave a like subscribe for more videos and peace